Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play in <coughs> Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass And I'm finally back with this uh, After about 5 months of nothing <laughs> And yeah, you will get the expl explanation about the sands of... No, not the sands of time The sand in the hourglass Which is the time we have to spend outside of the safe zones uh, Before life will start to get drained uh, from Link again and yes, that first door opens now, now that we have the Spirit of Power. There are two more such doors, uh, deeper into, uh, deep, deeper in the uh, dungeon, in the temple, but we'll find those later. For now, these are the phantoms. These will be our main enemies, well, our enemies for this uh, dungeon, for the temple. And the thing about them, they are invincible. And yeah, and when they you know, spot you, and well, if they get into an attacking on you, uh, they will set, they will set you back to the beginning of the um, level, and drain time uh, a good chunk of time uh, from your well from your timer, of course. They'll drain a good uh, bit of uh, sand from the hourglass. And yeah, now the safe zones. Those are the, all the purple spots around. Uh, when we're in those, uh, phantoms can't. Well, the phantoms can't enter those places. When we're in there, we're invincible. Well, not not invincible, invisible to them. And the time um, stops. The first thing we have to do here is light those torches. There's a switch at the upper part, right? and which lights one of them, and then we can light the other one with the boomerang. And if you get spotted. Uh, all the phantoms in the area will be alerted to your presence. So the best thing to do is just run into run into your safe zone. In later levels, will also uh, there will also be unignited fire lines, or, uh, which will block off paths. Uh, <coughs> and here's the switch. Of course, it's timed, but it's uh, pretty generous with that. Okay, the reasons why I haven't you know, hardly been, well, I haven't worked on this for about five months is first off, I thought I couldn't work with it because uh, I used Core Video Studio to record in my commentary, well, well to watch the video uh, whilst giving commentary, but uh, that was pretty stupid since I can just play, uh, I can just put the footage you know, after each other, uh, put in any jokes, and then. Uh, Produce it into a video and then run it. Then, then view the video and uh, add the commentary. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> those red pots will uh, break open and make little uh, safe zones, and that opens the door to the key. Uh, again. <clears throat> Okay, I've also I've got a bit of bad news and good news, depending on which Let's Play you would prefer. The bad news is for Assassin's Creed, and the good news is for this Let's Play. Because, uh, yeah, I had promised to make a Let's Play of Assassin's Creed uh, to, uh, for someone. But for some reason the game just won't work anymore. I think my copy has been damaged and or corrupted, so it won't work anymore. But uh, I asked, uh, I asked uh, who I would make it, for, make it for, and he said I could just drop it. So, which means I got a open, uh, an open space for this game. Okay, that guy and uh, that phantom will be stationary. And he has, he has one little problem here. Uh, <clears throat> I remember being able to uh, distract you know, these phantoms with the boomerang by slamming it by hit by hitting a wall with it. But for some reason it doesn't work on the ROM. It might be a version the difference. And yeah, phantoms also you know, can obviously, as, as I said, hear stuff. But, yeah, switch is getting hit. Well, if you hit anything with your sword, then they'll hear it. That, that was me trying to uh, lure him away with the boomerang. I don't know why it doesn't work with the boomerang. Probably, yeah, <laughs> probably a version difference or something, or a small glitch in the, yeah. <coughs> in the ROM. Okay, 
Yeah, throughout the, all the levels, well, most levels of the, the temple, uh, we, there are shortcuts which you can take if you have the right equipment. For like, uh, for example, uh, on the previous level there were broke, uh, were break wall rocks, which would lead directly to these, uh, to the switch and uh, key. Uh, and here's a, a, cra uh, a crack wall, so once we get bombs, we'll be able to take those shortcuts. Uh, but for now, we'll have to stick with running around. Yeah, this guy is talking about how the phantoms are you know, patrolling the same areas again and again, and it's a smart idea to, you know, you know, to draw those on the map, which I've been, I'll do at the... <clears throat> when I'm going to the next level. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a tad hard drawing with the mouse instead of a... <clears throat> it's a tad hard drawing with the mouse instead of a... Uh, forgotten the word. Oh yeah, so this explains about the yellow pots, which will give... Uh, I believe each of them will give you 30 more seconds of time in the sand. A fucking triangle? What the hell am I supposed to do with a triangle? <laughs> oh yes, yeah, sorry about that. I just couldn't have, <laughs> I couldn't resist. Yeah, this is a forest gem. Uh, we'll have to collect three of them and put them over there to open the door, which obviously forms the Triforce. <laughs> Even though the Triforce has, well, that's. Practically the only thing, uh, the only appearance of the Triforce through do in these uh, puzzles. And yes, they slow you down, but you can toss them away. In the multiplayer of this game, which I won't be able to show since I don't think the ROMs can really connect over the uh, Wi Fi. Uh, in the multiplayer, those, uh, there are different. Uh, <coughs> There are different versions which will give you know, different points. Because, yes, that's how you win the, uh, the game in such uh, scoring points with forest gems. Yeah, that line uh, below the stairs, that's one of those unignited flame lines which will get li lit if the uh, phantom spots you. Uh, these switches here open trap doors because we need the key from that phantom. Uh, this this technically counts as killing a phantom, but not really. You just drop him in a cave. You drop him somewhere <laughs> and get rid of him. The other switch, of course, uh, <coughs> opens a, a trap door between the spikes. So in between the spike rows. And here's the second uh, forest gem. And the last one is in the lower right corner. Uh, this puzzle can be avoid uh, can be uh, completely uh, skipped once we get a certain item, the grappling hook. But not yeah, not every one of those can be. Uh, here I tried to pull that switch, but I accidentally fell off. That switch will stop the you know, spikes from uh, rising again. Yeah, I don't really have anything that more to talk about. And let's see, it's yeah, it's uh, too late to really start talking about anything now. But uh, yeah, that's the last one. So the door opens, and we can, con we can continue on. Okay, first off, this new door for which we'll need another, sp uh, a different spirit. <clears throat> and also, there's no fog, the timer stopped, and the timer stopped. This is one of uh, mids, well, one of um, a couple of mid points, uh, where we'll completely save. Uh, as Tail said, no, no, not, I've, <laughs> I've forgotten her name. This is a safe zone. And that's the Northwestern Sea Chart, so now we can explore more of the sea. Uh, but of course, we'll have to. Uh, Clean it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to go back to linebacker and such. 
but uh, that'll be it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Until then, have a nice day and goodbye.